Hey, yo, what's up? This is Cyber Marshall Courage, right? Back up in this anti Illuminati all day, anti telepathy all day, anti America all day, and everybody with him, yeah. So, this video is going to be about all my ops and all my ops that's been in the way for the past. For well, people that don't know, that means enemies. All the ops in the way <clears throat> since um, about. I would say 2018. I'm, I'm gonna be addressing them right now. Okay, so so for all the ops that's been playing around my life for since 2018, more longer than that for a fact, but I'll just say 2018, which is now four years ago. You have been in the way of me even ha remotely having any kind of relationship with my son. Yeah. I have a 14 year old kid in the world. For all you aliens and people that act like aliens and roaches and creatures and whatever you think you are, <laughs> besides a human, which you show no strength of, um, you have been a problem with me getting a connection with my son because see this is what God is not going to do God is not going to put my son in my life in the middle of this foolishness that you got going on so it's literally a hindrance because God would not put a child in harm's way like that so you literally have been while you ironically I don't know what you think you're doing protecting children or kids or whatever you think you're doing Protecting the public, ironically, you're in the way of me. You're a danger that prevents my child from being in my life. That part. So, what are we struggling to figure out? Who childs matter the most? <laughs> that part. Boom. Because my child's relationship with his parents is just as important as your relationship with your children's, uh, your child's relationship with their parents is, okay? That's what you gotta understand. It's just as important, all right? So, that reeks of a problem. A problem for you, not a problem for me, okay? You've been in the way of my child being in my life. God looks at that. Who cares about the American government? They've been fell off. They've been whack. Whack for how many years? Ever. <laughs> whack forever. So who cares about what they feel? Okay. Y'all been whack forever too. I'm just saying this so you know when <laughs> problems hit the fan and when things go out of whack for you. You know why? You've been in the way of a man getting his, in a relationship with his own child, with his child. Not somebody else's child. My son that I put in the world. Just in case you label me as some little man child that play video games, although I have no video game console. <laughs> um, this is the problem you cause, man. This is the problem you, 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 you endangered you prevented a man from getting in a relationship with his son. I don't care what these people feel. That's the bottom line. That's their death sentence, in other words. Nah, no, no. You talk about child this, child that, but you have no you have no sustenance of any you have no substance of anything. I'm telling you, I have a child, and these people have been in the way. Whether that relationship when my child is, has been prevented or not, how it's been going, the potential of me having a relationship with my child has been up, up, up heavily to the negative because of these people. So in all in all, they're the ones that's in, uh, in the way of a child. They're a harm to a child. You're a harm to the relationship concerning my child. Yeah, God is not gonna let me be in my the life of my um my son um with all that's going on. 
No. So my child matters just as much as yours. My child, the relationship I have with my child is just as important as the relationship you have with your child. But yet, somehow, I still believe they think their child matters more than mine. <laughs> they do. I guarantee you they do. Somewhere in their mind, they think that their child matters more than mine. When they have clearly been in the way of my child's relationship with me. I haven't been in the, uh, in the way of their uh, relationship with their child. I haven't been in the, in, the, in the middle of their, I haven't been any hindrance to their relationship with their child. But they have been a hindrance to the relationship I have with mine. You see the difference? They've been a hindrance. They've been a problem. They've been something in the way of me being in my son's life. So that pushes me over the edge to being Victor and being more important than them and their cause. Who cares about their cause? Who cares what they're doing? They are in the way of a man having the potential, having a relationship with his son. If it's not happening, it doesn't matter. The potential for it to happen is in the negative because of them. You shouldn't even be able to mess with the potential of a person having a relationship with a child. Ironically, that's all they talk about. <laughs> Children. But you're in the way of mine, though. That part. You're in the way of my child having his father in his life. You can't say what I would do until you move out the way. Because I'm, I'm, look, I'm going to be on mine until they done. You heard? I'm going to be on, I'm going to be on this until they done. So, you, hey, you don't believe in me? Good. <laughs> I take full advantage of that. I take full advantage of that. You think I won't? Sure will. I take full advantage of you thinking I'm playing games. So that's the difference. I got a 14 year old kid four years away from being this year. He'll be 15 next month. He'll be 15. Next month. He's going to be 15. My son is three years away from being a fully grown man. You think I got time to play with these fools? My son is almost an adult in four years. My son will be an adult. Four years. Four years from now, he'll be an adult. I'll have a man as a son. My son will be a man in four years. You think I'm playing with these people, man? I would disintegrate them, bruh. On, on real, on real, on, on, on everything, bruh. You don't matter enough to me. I don't care about you. I'm just, man, I don't know no other way to put it, man. When it comes to this situation, <laughs> I mean, really, you know, I don't care about nothing. No, nothing. You already are in violation for you preventing me to be in my son's life. That's your death sentence. I don't care nothing about what you're saying. I, I already beat you. I already proven to beat you. I'm still here. My mind's still here. I'm human, but my mind's still here. You know, so I'm here, man. I'm not playing no cartoon games with people, man. I got a kid that's almost full 18. My kid is almost a grown man. You understand? I could care less about your life. Your life means nothing. 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 I'll mow you down like grass. I will mow you down like grass. You don't want to see me. I'm telling you, you don't want to see me, buddy, because I'm sophisticated. <laughs> yeah, that's the, that you don't want to mess with that. I'm sophisticated. There's millions of ways to skin a cat. I will skin you. There's a million ways to skin a cat, buddy. I ain't, you, you expecting bang, buck, pop, pow. There's many ways to skin a cat. I take your whole country away. How you gonna have a country anyway when you got 40 states allowing adults to have sex with children? 
Your country almost gone. What war you got going on? You gonna turn around one day and be living a Mad Max movie. You gonna be living in a Mad Max movie. That's what you're gonna be doing. <laughs> I don't gotta touch you. I gotta touch a country. You got COVID-19, Omicron. You, you can't even take one more plague. You can't take another one. And you playing around me? You playing around me? You can't even afford another plague, bro. I think you're trying to save face. I'm a warrior, man. I'm a warrior. I do this. You trying to save face. You trying to save face. You you really honestly, you ain't even got no room to fight with me. You pathetic and pitiful right now. How you gonna fight with me when you can't afford no more bad karma? One more bad plague of karma and you out of here. You know this and I know this. I know where you at. You ain't deceiving me. You get one more plague, man. Hit them hospitals. Y'all out of here. And you sitting around playing around me. I'm just letting you know what I know. Just in case you think you got the wool pull over my eyes. I'm just letting you know. You get one more big, bad plague and you out of here, America. You out of here. What you going to do? If something comes twice as bad as COVID already, what you gonna do? As far as the hospitals, what you gonna do? Your hospitals are everything. What you gonna do? It ain't time to be playing around with nobody, bro. You need to wake up. This ain't three years before. This ain't three years ago. This ain't four years ago. This is two. This is two thousand twenty-two. Okay. This is 2022, just in case you may have been shell-shocked and you're not in 2020 anymore, okay? You're in 2022. You, you don't have room to fight with me. You don't have room to play with me. It may, make, it may make you feel good inside, but look at your country, though. That's all I'm saying. That's all I want you to do. All I want you to do is look at your country. That's all I want you to do. And when you do that, you're going to realize you've already been hit. You've already been hit, bruh. You've already been hit. you you in a dream world. Where you at? 2019? you you, you still in denial that COVID is here? <laughs> hey, let's keep it 100. You're still, in, you're still in denial, huh? You don't believe it was real, do you? I heard I heard a, a, a Florida deputy, a Florida sheriff tell me, well, I don't know if COVID is real. This is this is like summer of COVID, though. The first summer of COVID, like July. And he didn't even know. He, he talking about, is it real? This is a this is a, a sheriff of, in, 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 of, of the police. <laughs> Crazy, right? So it's people out there that just still are in denial. That's why I do videos. Wake you up, shake you up, realize, man. You can't fight me. You, 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 you're now living in a cartoon fantasy, man. Come on. Everybody's seen me win. Everybody's seen you do what you do, but all of a sudden you got a disease that you can't get rid of. Everybody's seen it. Who you fooling? So who's left the fool? Who are you... Who are you trying to entertain? Oh, you're doing it for the girls? You're doing it for the women? Y'all doing it for the women? But the women can clearly see better than you. Most women are smarter than men. You don't think they see this? <laughs> Bro, y'all dead. How y'all gonna get rid of that? Explain to me, people talking about living with COVID. Hold up, bro. How you living with something y'all dying every day? How y'all live? How y'all living with it? You ain't living with it. You dying with it. <laughs> you missed the you missed the step, bro. You get to the living part with it, but you're not there. You're not nowhere near that. You're not nowhere near living with COVID. You're dying from COVID every day. That's the facts. Why you sitting up talking about you're living with it, trying to give people hope? Stop lying to people. 
Every, it's getting worse and worse and worse. And they're now talking about another variant besides Omicron. And you still trying to play games? You should be trying to get in my good graces. But you, but the arrogance of your community wants, I don't know what they want to do. They want to die that way? They want to die like that? Because even America could admit when they were defeated. And you can look at that with the uh, Vietnam War. The Vietnam War told shows you where this country was defeated. <laughs> so you have an example of when you're defeated through the Vietnam War and you got to know when to walk away. Okay, you've, it doesn't matter how violent the contest is, how bad the contest is, the war itself, how bad it is. At some point, you got to pull out and realize reality. You can't try to fight to, your, to the end. You can't, it's a beautiful gangster story, but guess what happens when people try to fight to the end? They die in a blaze of glory. That's what they do. That's the best you get. That's the best you get. When you try to fight in a situation like this, you're just going to die in a blaze of glory. And I'm going to still be here. I'm going to still be right here making videos, all in my videos. Like should I say, I'm all in my video. I'm, look, I'm going to still be here. And you're going to go out in the blaze of glory trying to be, uh, what's the name, Jesse James. You trying to be Jesse James? You trying to be Jesse James cuz? That's what it looked like. Because everybody know by all war standards, all real masters. I mean, third degree black belts, any type of martial arts, any type of military. They all seen that you lost two years ago. But you're still in the way of me and my son possibly having a relationship. This is your bad karma. I'm just showing you all your bad karma. Not to mention 40 states allows adults to have sex with children. That's your, that's your real death certificate. I'm sorry. That's your real death certificate. 40 states allowing adults to have sex with children defeats everything that you did against me. You ain't got no choice but to throw everything out. How are you going to have something against me and you got 40 states allowing adults to have sex with children? You talking about something children did with children. Come on, bro. You retarded, man. <laughs> you retarded, bro. You're a crap baby. You might not know it. You might be a crap baby. You don't know. Hey, your mom might not have told you. Thought she could get away with it, man. You might be a crap baby. I think you crap baby. Don't a crap baby got kind of certain kind of look. You know what I'm saying? Certain kind of attitude. Might be a crap baby for sure, though. <laughs> For real. I'm not saying they can't be productive citizens, but hey, you know, you got to own up to who you are, man. <laughs> Don't be scared of it. Don't be scared of it. Okay? But all I'm saying is, man, you know, when it comes down, when it boils down to it, when you get in the way of children, the universe is going to be on my side, man. It's, 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 a, it's a given. It's a given, man. All these things you've said and done, and I got a kid. This dude is a father, not some weirdo that never had children. There are people like that. There are lots of people like that. They never had children. They never got married. You can find many women that never been married. And yet I'm the weirdo. <laughs> are you funny, man. You're a funny guy, I tell you. You're a funny guy. I got a kid in the world. I divorced my wife. Found out, you know, she told me and, you know, that she is, is a mentally sick. You know, she gets a check now. And this is closure. I don't say this to down her on this video. I don't say this to down her. This is closure for me because I didn't know what was going on with my ex-wife and I had to divorce her I had to divorce her it's closure for me so see while you're judging and, 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 and looking at my life and wondering what things went wrong that's what went wrong I married 
someone that was mentally sick, someone that is now on a check, getting a check for being mentally sick. So if I had the right woman, then who knows, I could still be married. Because it wasn't me that was the problem. Mental sickness is a problem in itself. And a lot of people in, that talk to me about my marriage will always try to insinuate that it takes two. Not in this case. Now that I know this, not in this case. You got one mentally sick person, that's enough. That's enough to end that marriage three times over. You can get married two or three times to that same person. You're going to keep hitting the same brick wall because it's, if you can't wish it away. You can't love it away. You can't hate it away. You can't do nothing with that. So that explains my life story. What about y'all? Why you are the way you are? <laughs> Why are you in this place? Why are you here? You know what I'm saying? Because I had a better place than this. I had, I'm not judging what you got, but I had a better apartment than this. With my ex-wife. Both driving. Driver license. Y'all that don't got a driver license, come on, man. Come on, me and you are not the same, bro. That's what I'm saying. I'm not judging. Because everybody don't get their driver's licenses. But you know the type I'm talking about. Yeah, why well, you trying to label me a weirdo? I done done everything in society that most people do. I travel state to state. You ain't done that. Why you label me, labeling me a weirdo? I done travel state to state. You ain't done that. And I had jobs in state to state, coast to coast. You haven't done that. Driver's licenses. Some of y'all ain't never had them. Your own real apartment. Y'all ain't never had them. Not something that, not something that the government gave you. No. I'm talking about a real apartment. Well, you got to work to have it. You ain't done that. I have. More than one time. You got a food stamp. You got a food stamp apartment. This is food stamp apartments. Can't see, you can't see me? Come on now. Go get yourself together. And I got a 14-year-old kid. Come on. You're outranked, man. And I'm a rider. I'm a certified rider. I done got in the car with the intentions of shooting somebody, went to their house and everything. I'm a certified rider. So, okay, come on. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. You don't care nothing about all that fighting and all that like you would want to do. You see what I do? I carry weapons. I'm a certified, certified rider. If I done got in the car with the intentions of shooting somebody, that's a rider. That's a person in the car with the gun. That's a rider. That's what you call a rider. Okay, if you ain't never did that, if you ain't never got in the car, I ain't talking about going to the store, going to the store, and then some stuff break out. Some ignorant stuff break out. I'm talking about only getting in the car with the intention of shooting somebody. With guns in the car. If you have not done that, and your heart has not accepted that reality and you moved in that reality, you're not you're not a rider. That's the, you you uh you trade getting out the car. Doe, let me out. That's you. <laughs> you tray on boys in the hood. Doe, let me out. <laughs> That's you. Come on, you ain't no rider. Stop playing with me, man. You a scuffler. You scrub you 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 scrappy the little Scooby Doo dog. You like to fight. I don't fight, buddy. I can fight. I'm not, ew, I didn't know, not these days. I carry weapons, buddy. I'm, I'm shooting the wind. No hit and miss. Yeah, yeah, I want to be separated from, like, what I'm supposed to do, be in the ranking of the likes of people that's just getting started? Nah, you want me to be there, I'm not. <laughs> I ain't just getting started. Yeah, you want me to be a rookie and I'm not. You ain't going to treat me like no rookie either. You're going to treat me like I got some rank that I do have. You're going to treat me like I done been coast to coast. You're going to treat me like I've been a married man. You're going to treat me like I got a 14-year-old kid in the world. You're going to treat me like I, done, like, I, like I done got robbed two times. You're going to treat me like I got my first charge when I was 16. You're going to treat me like I got threw out of high school for pulling the weapon on somebody. You're going to treat me with the right proper respect. 
It ain't got nothing to do with being crazy. It's just some real people out here. And you ain't one of them. I done seen real soldiers from coast to coast. New York ain't everything. I'm sorry to tell you. New York is not everything. To have everything in America, you got to go coast to coast to get the full mastery, buddy. Yeah, I got masteries you cannot get here in New York. You can't get them. You can't. They, they different types of breeds of people. You can't get it here. You can't get the same experience. The gangster is way differently. It's way different. And people want to ignore it because they ain't been through it. Yeah, it's convenient. It's convenient for you. You want to ignore my part. But if you had been done doing the same thing, you would be worse than me. Talking about, oh, I done been here, done been there, been there. You, you'll be talking about all that. You'd be fabricating stories, probably. You'd probably be lying. <laughs> Adding to it. That's what I'm saying, man. But, hey, man, I'll tell you, like, people that got in the way between me and my son, that's a mistake, bro. I just thought you should know. Because, uh, you know, some people see how you are and they think that uh, that's just all that's going on concerning your life. I got a kid that's somewhere in the world. I got a kid that's somewhere in the world. That being said, you're a hindrance to that kid having his father. That makes you a problem in the world, a real, a real problem in the world. A problem that God will remove. We don't care nothing about what you're doing. That child matters more than you. Bottom line. 